Park, your venue. Melbourne playing host to International Women's Rugby League for the first time. And it's a beautiful afternoon Good as kick. well. And how's this for a start for the Gillaroos? Perfect. From inside the 40, McGregor finds a Early nice angle well. here. And oh, we'll get the yes. footy back. 40-30. They want to keep going that way. New Zealand trying to number up, but Aiken spotted something and floats it over the top for Chapman against Nichols. So powerful. What a finish from Jamie Chapman, one of the stars of the NRLW Grand Final. Australia asking for some quicker play the balls. Koenig, Sergis somehow holds on in contact. And we'll play it again. So quick with her play the balls. Now Koenig looking to set up Upton. Still Olivia Koenig. Where's the support? There it is. Upton is over. And has she scored? I think she might have done. Yeah, it's the work of Arpy Nichols over the top. We've cleared all, play, it. all aspects of play up until this point. There, she loses that. Just yeah. looking at position from Tamika Upton. That's a no try. <laughs> Pass out in front of McGregor, did well to hold on, and now Good space play. opening up for Nichols. And tripped up by Upton with Brigginshaw getting there as well. Just They've got a deep line to the right. Don't use. And Very flat on the left here, though. And she's out of play here. Where number seven has to play the ball on the last, so they go to that left-hand side. Nathan Wong trying to set it up for her. Oh, as the Gillaroos switch off and pay the price. But then this is the pet play for the Kiwis. And this is what we've spoken about. If you clock off on the inside there, you see they don't tie in. And the space is created. Melahufunga is so strong, you can't give her that half sniff. She makes you pay. Here's Tonegato. Combining with Cherrington centre field, scored two tries in that World Cup final. Kennedy tipped on cleverly by Tonegato through the hands of Koenig to Sergis. Winding up his chest, so strong, and thought about forcing it out the back, held on. Now Hale trying to eye out the defence. Trying to create something here for Hufunga. Oh, Arpi. Arpi Nichols is through. Australia already complaining about an obstruction, but for now, the Kiwis are in front. Catches it on the inside shoulder of Nevada George, and then she takes it to the outside. And it the New Zealand play the catches the ball on the inside shoulder of the lead runner and causes a disadvantage to the defensive line. We have a decision. So we remain at six apiece here. Yeah, it might be disallowed, but doesn't don't they make that look easy though? Manselman goes short side for Tamika Upton and Sergis. Look at the footwork around Hufunga. Keeps it alive for Whitfeld. The debutante against the grain. Oh! <laughs> right into a roadblock. Anessa Biddle. What a hit. Whoa, welcome to international footy. Find their groove in attack. Brigginshaw. Sergis. Pops it out the back for Manzelman. Off the mark. Look at the footwork creating here. The two debutantes combine. And Whitfield trying to force it down. New Zealand, how is that for desperation? Sums up their defensive effort. Nathan Wong gets involved as well. Yep, the ball's up. Wow. Tipped on by Upton, oh. and Hufunga swoops, trying to get away from Sergis, who's rounding her up. Oh. And they're inside the 40, contact over the top. Wait. And New Zealand, for the first time since 2016, have knocked off the Gillaroos. What a moment for New Zealand Rugby League and the Kiwi Ferns.